Hi everyone, it is me, posted by Callum. I am joined by Mr. Reliable, Jim Mac 247 and we are here to talk about some big managerial news today. A big shake-up. Preston North End have released their club statement confirming that Alex Neal is no longer the manager there. James, what are your initial thoughts about this? Um, I can't say that I'm personally too surprised by the decision. Um, I feel as though um, maybe they've not really progressed um, as much as they would have liked to in his, I believe, in his the four years that... Um, yeah, it would have been four years if he'd have completed the season. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, as things stand, I, think, I believe this is in Downing 16th. Um, I've got the lead. Uh, I think I've got it up here somewhere. Um, well, apparently, I don't think they've lost. I think their last four or five games, they've been really struggling as well. And they're down at 16th. So, as things stand, as this season's going, I'm not surprised really. And of course, as I yeah. said, I feel as though they've not really pro- progressed as much as I, I think. think yeah, did. if you look at the table from this year, from just 2021 as a calendar year, I think Preston are right at the bottom with um, Wickham, yeah. so that lot. So I think they really they have really underperformed this season. I mean, we'll, we'll get onto like how how Alex Neal has done really, but we we'll talk about it from a Norwich perspective first because he came to us. We on paper had that team in 2014-15. Initially, it was being managed by Neil Adams at first, and we should have been higher where we were. We had some big characters in that dressing room, you know, some big big wages for the championship, didn't we? And he came in. He was an aggressive young young manager, really passionate. He got us playing football, got us promoted. He's got that promotion on his CV. Then it kind of went wrong. He, I didn't. He, he. I don't think he was tactically as good as he should have been in the Premier League. In the championship, when we came down again, I think he made got a lot wrong. Couldn't really manage some of the big names that we did have, so there probably was some stuff going against him. But I thought, you know, at the right, we, he left us at the right time. Do you do you agree with that? Yeah, I do agree. Uh, I think the unfortunate thing is with him is the fact that um, because we had that promotion so soon, I feel as though maybe that that was so like well, what was it about? A hot, good, you know, three quarters of a season into mm. his t- uh, 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 into his time at Notre City. So I feel as though that promotion kind of came a little bit too um, quickly for him to actually be able, able to like properly um, build the squad that he probably needed um, to first of all keep us maintained in the Premier League. I and mean, when we did get there, I feel as though the signings that we made, for example, Stephen Naismith, um, just not to single role. Well, Probably a bit hard to me for me to single him out, but he was he was a very noteworthy name from that that Premier League season. And then when we came back down again, um, um, with him in charge, he had, I don't feel as though we necessarily made the correct signs once again in terms of recruitment when he was here as well, which is probably why we won, you know, for the majority of that season in in the race for playoffs. So I do agree that he kind of left at the right time, and which alone allowed us to. Properly yeah, and, system. Just, and yeah, and at the moment, I think he's being linked with uh, is it the Aberdeen job? A bit, people are saying that might be good, maybe Celtic to go back into Scotland. But I've been having a think, you know, he's got that promotion on his CV, and I think he's 39, so that's a really young manager, isn't it? And yeah, looking yeah. at the that could be without managers soon. So Newcastle, West Brom, Sheffield United, they'll be looking for someone for next season. Yeah, and well, I think jobs will look appealing. Parachute money, I mean. Could potentially? Do you think that would look look good? Yeah, it could be an interesting one, really, because um, what I think I think he's a sort of manager. I think what what of what's been lacking at maybe Preston is maybe the which is not necessarily their fault. Of course, they've missed out a lot of money this season due to COVID and whatnot. Um, but a club like Newcastle um, or, or or Fulham. Well, I expect Fulham and Holdup keep all of Scott Parker, and more yeah. uh, chances are that Newcastle would, you know, probably let go of Steve Bruce at some point. Someone like Alex Neal would probably do a good job there, because I feel as though, in terms of money, I feel as though he could do a really good job at someone in terms of building that sort of squad, providing, of course, you know, Mike Ashley would. Yeah, and money. No, yeah, I get you, I get you, and you know, he didn't start off that badly at Preston did he like I think it was his first season he actually finished seventh so I think he had if we look at I've got a team here from the 17-18 squad 
uh, Maxwell is in goal. You've got Fisher, Huntington, Davies, Cunningham, Gallagher, Pearson, Barkosen, Brown, you know, a player I really rate, Callum Robinson and Jordan Hugel. Now, I think what you, we, we need to look at is a lot of that team of, over the years has been picked apart. So Cunningham had his move to the uh, Premier League, didn't he? Davies has now had his move to the Premier League. Fisher's now gone to Middlesbrough. Pearson's gone to Bournemouth. Callum Robinson went to Sheffield United initially, and Hugel went to West Ham in the Premier League. So that team did get it did get picked apart a lot, and you could argue it wasn't they did the first bit. I don't think there's any shame in selling your best players, but you have to do maybe what Norwich or Brentford have done and recruit correctly. I mean, Brentford are probably the masters in that they've done it. Yeah. With, I will say Norwich have had some Premier League money. Sure, it's Premier League money we earn on our own merit, but Brentford are the masters, you've got to say, of letting best their best players leave, but then bringing in new ones. Do you think recruitment has been an issue at Preston, and should he have been maybe more backed by the board? Yeah, I, don't, I do think it's something to, to note, really, because, of course, um, after that season, um, after that season where they finished seventh, the next season after, they were down in about 14th, um, so which is a significant drop, really. Well, you know, it's, it's half the places where you were last time. So, yeah. so what was uh, it? Did he then finish ninth again? I think he did. He finish ninth uh, last. Um, let me take it. I've got it here. Next season after they finished ninth, and then for, finishing four points off the playoffs. That's last, which was last yeah. season. So, um, but then of course, as things stand, they after finishing ninth last season, they're now down in sixteenth. So it's not really been, it's been a bit of a rocky road for them. So recruitment, I feel as though it could be, could have been a lot bit better. Um, yeah. So obviously he's shown that he can um, get them just outside the playoffs. But in terms of actually, you know, um, in terms of the actual ability of the players at the, at the squad, it shows by their, I think, maybe shows where they are on the league table with the fact that they're maybe the, the quality of the players aren't up to scratch every two seasons or so. That yeah. That's really down to selling players, really. You've got, should we say it like this, has, considering the resources he's got at Preston and the money he's got, has, did would you say Alex Neal was overachieved at Preston and it's potentially a bit harsh that he's being handed out now? Or do you think the football's not been good this year? It's all going a bit stale, a bit like it did at Norwich. Do you think there's potentially, it's potentially the right decision? I think it potentially could be the right decision. Um, as you said, as you said, I think it might have gone to a bit, little bit stale. Um, it just seems like I say, of course, season one they finished seventh, then they dropped to fourteenth, then up to ninth, then back down to about sixteenth as things stand. They just don't seem to be really going anywhere with it, and there seems to be a similar pattern each season. And because of that there doesn't seem to be any sort of actual natural progression for them in the time that he's been there, really. Um, so I think in the long run, it could potentially be the right choice. Um, and of course, this is, I think, the, since coming up from League One, this their seventh season in um, in a championship. So it's easily, easy, well, it's quite easy to say that they're pretty much an established championship clubs, club, um, yeah. club now. And I there's like Alex Neal, as of course, as you said, has spent at least three and a half or so seasons at the club in, that, in those seven years. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that has become definitely stale, really. And I feel as though they, they've been in the division long enough that I feel as though they should really yeah. be starting to progress a little bit further and maybe even challenging for playoffs. No, I get what you mean. And obviously, we're not Preston fans, so we can't say we don't know have the inside. What? if he did do a good job, if he didn't as much as other people. I mean, I always did used to think, he when I was watching Preston, even including when Preston had played Norwich, they've been a solid side. I thought, well, Alex Neil, this is a good job for him because, you know, he's got less resources. He's had to prove himself a little more and a solid side. Question is, though, what next for Preston? Who can you see maybe going there? Because those managers is like Bilic, for example, Big Sam, if he leaves, or Steve Bruce, they might be looking at, you know, other jobs around where, you know, parachute money is available and that's huge and that's where it's, I think it's very difficult and I can sympathise with some championship clubs where the money it's it's not an easy league to get out of is it if you haven't no it it really isn't and of course as you say a lot of those the issue with a lot of clubs is um, parachute payments of course Brentford as you said as you said are pretty much the masterminds of of transfers really and a club like Brentford 
who, if you think about it, were what in the, in League One about seven, seven, six, seven, maybe eight years ago now, and they've had to rely on transfers to be able to even properly try and compete, um, both financially and in terms of quality with um, teams that have potentially come down. Of course, not every club who's come down has done well, like at Huddersfield and Stoke, really. But in terms of actually, you know, being able to financially cope in comparison to these teams, and Brentford have done it well. And the problem is with, with Preston is, of course, um, I feel as though they're, you know, their transfer recruitment, I don't know how much they've been spending on players, but they, I believe they've spent or received a lot of decent amount of transfer money and seem to be just to a degree, I guess, maybe yeah, stop playing the cash. But yeah, and they're not the only club. Like It is difficult. You're going to lose money a lot of the times in the championship, you know, because it's expensive to run and, you know, the financial reward isn't there like it is for the Premier League. So, yeah, you can sympathise there. The thing is, the names that I would have been thinking of, you know, Paul Cook, Danny Cowley, they've got, now got jobs in League One, haven't they, with Ipswich and Portsmouth, yeah, respectively. Too. So That's the thing. I'm I'm really interested. Maybe it will be... I think I've read that they're going to have Frankie McAvoy uh, as interim, maybe for the end of the season. So that gives them time to, time to like look for someone. But at the same time, would it not be good for them to recruit a manager now? Because then, you know, they can get the ideas in now. And then look ahead to next season. Yeah, that 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 would be you know that would be a kind of like really essential, really. But I feel as though having Frankie McAvoy the, the assistant manager of Alex Neil, of course, would be helpful just to kind of maybe sum up who well, or for them just to kind of note up a few ideas, and then afterwards, it's a process that they shouldn't necessarily try and take a little bit well. It's, it's something that shouldn't be rushed, and it's also something that shouldn't be taken too long. Um, and it's something where I f- um, where Middlesbrough kind of I think might have done a good good thing in um, last season when uh, Stephen no not Stephen I was thinking uh, Neil Warnock I was thinking of Steve Stephen Warnock but Neil Warnock yeah um, when Neil Warnock took over at Middlesbrough he had, that is really important because he um, it allowed him to of course have that time to maybe sum up that who should be in that Middlesbrough side and who shouldn't be. Um, which is something that can be useful for them here, but also it's the sort of thing that they shouldn't necessarily try and rush, but not, I suppose, take too long in deciding, if that makes sense. Yeah, and that's that's the thing, isn't it? And yeah, you made some great, great points there. And f- thinking about Frankie, Frankie McAvoy, he, well, I know he's interim now, but my, my initial thoughts are if Alex Neal lands a job right away, surely Frankie McAvoy, that's his go-to man. Will he not just take him with him? So then... Preston would have to find someone else. It's interesting. It will be interesting to see who they recruit for the for the new managerial role, and again, which players are come in and out. Because I don't think the recruitment there has been perfect under Alex Neil. Whether that's to do with him, whether it's to do with the, the scouts, whether it's to do with maybe the board and their budget, we don't know. I mean, uh, I feel like that we've wrapped that up pretty nicely, uh, James. If you feel like there's anything else you want to say, would you like to say it? Um, not really, um, but of course I just, or, or, well, I suppose all I can really say is I hope that, of course, Alex Neil um, does find a, find a job quickly. Oh. And I, I, I hope he succeeds in the next one as well, because, of course, anybody who's a Norwich fan obviously appreciates him getting us back up to, to the Premier League. With the way the Memories up to the front, with us forever. Top manager, top guy. Sure, we'll get a new great job. I've been posted by Callum. This has been Jim Mac247, and yeah, thanks for watching.